guys, so we've now arrived at the location, which is just behind here. We've been driving, I uh, left at Vegas around, I believe 5 a.m. And we've just been driving all the way ever since. Stopped off a few times to get food and stuff. And we've arrived at the first ever McDonald's. Can you believe that? McDonald's all around the world. This was the very, very first one. If you've seen the film, The Founder, you will know this is what it's about. Right there. It's got the old sign. This is in San Bernardino. As you can see, there's a sign there, historic McDonald's Museum. So it actually opens up at 10 a.m. meant to be. So within 15 minutes time, someone's meant to be opening the place up. But we can go in there first before and then check it out. And then we can get to go inside. Pretty amazing the site of the original mcdonald's the founders the old sign there 15 cents hamburgers we have sold over 1 million so then there's like a memorial there to take a mcdonald's open the first one mcdonald's site it's crazy that's the original sign that you see on the film. So we're gonna get to go inside shortly and check that out. Got the old seats here. Fifteen cent hamburgers. Fifteen cent hamburgers, guys. Imagine that. The most, the world's most detailed memorial. I must admit, this is pretty fascinating for me. I just find it fascinating how McDonald's is all around the world and this is where it originated from. It's just pretty amazing. I believe it's free to uh, enter inside as well. I'm not sure what this area is. I guess it's all part of the same McDonald's museum. Oh, it's parking. So they even got an old car here. Like a really, really old car. As you can see, I don't know if that's from <laughs> the time. How can one person or two guys create something and then spread it all around the world? It's just mental. That's why I love the film. And any any entrepreneur films, like even the film about Facebook social network, I really find that fascinating as well. I'm not sure what that area it is. And that's pretty much it, guys, for the outside. But I had a quick look through the window, the glass window then. And it seems to be a lot of stuff inside, so I'm excited to get in there. But hopefully they open up because i got a flight to catch. We, we're an hour and 30 minute drive away from LAX airport now. And I'm cutting it fine with the timing. So I'm hoping to get this open, get inside 10, 15 minutes, have a look around. And then we're heading to the airport because we're going back to Dubai. But yeah, this trip's been amazing. And what a perfect way to end it off by checking out the first ever McDonald's. Welcome to the original McDonald's. We don't sell any 15 hamburgers, but we serve plenty of free memories. Cameras welcome. It's crazy. Free admission, cameras welcome. So let's just hope that we get inside, guys. I don't know if you can see anything there. Good news, they've just let us in now. So let's check this place out. 
So there's a uh, jumper there. There's seven jumpers. Looks like a penny making machine here. You get to pick up one of these history things. I think that's the, oh no that's um Ray Croft that was in it. Check this place out guys. This is crazy. This is unreal. <laughs> I can't get over how good this is. I'm trying to film it and look at it at the same time. There's like old uh, uniforms there, that's crazy. And then on the wall at the top, they got. Well, I messed with it before in the past when I was given a chance. So, yeah, if you bring me see out, uh, kind of like for a The marker. old car shop, McDonald's barbecue. The right for PL, where I only get the same. Yeah, I was looking for a marker so I can write for It's just all the employees there on the wall. The original orange juice machine. That's mental. Captain Cook, root beer. This is so fascinating, guys. This is crazy. All the employees, like the menu. There's a 1950s menu there. 15 cents hamburgers, 10 cents milk. They used to sell milk. That's crazy. Code of conduct. Stationery. There's just so much to see in here. It's mental. How much stuff that you can see. There's like, there's all the toys I think from the Happy Meals. I hope my camera doesn't run out of storage, guys, because I'm on uh, low storage. I hope they delete some stuff otherwise. There's just so much stuff there. Thousand photographs signed by Rich McDonald's. Ray Kroc there again. McDonald's pizza. They used to sell pizza. Must have been. It's mental. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go. Also, my next week, 50th anniversary, 1998. That's this place here, guys. That's when they put the sign up. Here's the menu. So there's all the all the Happy Meal toys, obviously. Yeah, I always hide one of those online. Yeah, so the only thing we're missing that could go with it, they have to go The Big Mac created in 1966-67. Well, you guys, but I know I keep talking about I find this fascinating. Check this out. This is the original cups used in the movie. That's the cups that they used in the movie, guys. Look, this is signed by Ray Kroc, I believe. Oh, that's the cast. There's the founder, look. So it's signed by the cast. That's the scraper, the grill scraper used in the movie. And the straws. And the fries. Look, check the french fries. That's used in the movie as well. That's crazy. Burger wraps. The multi mixer that was used in the movie. This is mad. This shown was worn in the movie. Man, so look at all the toys from all the Happy Meals. 
33,000 restaurants in the world. It's a lot more than that now, guys, eh? <laughs> it's crazy. That's the movie. What's this? Original tiles from Ray Crocs McDonald's. So these are the tiles, guys, from the actual McDonald's. That's insane. That's the original. How the hell have they got this stuff? Keep. No. They've got original stuff. That's mental. You can follow the Instagram there as well. I don't know. Where, where have I seen that? That's... That's the fire department, is it? Or the police, police officer? I don't know. I'm not sure what that is. What is it? Yeah, I don't know. Transfers issued only one. Just all the toys at the top there. There's so much to see in this place. I'm actually going to go back over it once I finish filming, but just going to show you guys everything first. I must admit, how they've got this museum set up is amazing. There's, uh, there's all different types of McDonald's here. Stuff. There's some bags at the top there. Is in Japan, all the different toys that you get in the Happy Meals. Tour guide. That's the original site there again. Restaurant 1948. Look at all the different toys from the Happy Meals, it's crazy. Got different Big Macs there. Some more McDonald's stuff. All the different countries. It's insane. They've got all the different countries, must be where they get all the different toys from. The different meals that they order. This is Scotland. They sell iron brew, <laughs> sausage and pancakes. Big tasty quarter pounder. This is Scotland. So we've got Greece. It's mad. Angeles Olympics blazer. Super Mario Brothers. It's pretty sick. What's this? Is this is the actual. They got the actual food inside here. The pancakes and stuff. And the actual burgers there, I think. I believe. How do they keep that for like how is that not disintegrated unless it's plastic? It looks real though. I don't know how that is. I don't know how they've kept it like look at the chicken nuggets, they look like just dying. <laughs> All the different sauces. The burgers. Please do not eat the displays. Huh? I'm, I am tempted. <laughs> Not. Look at this. It looks disgusting. <laughs> Fill it with fish there. <laughs> but yeah, I probably am tempted, guys. I've been eating uh, a lot since the show. Talking about not on duty. So 
it's crazy. That's the old uniform there. We got some more customers. Some more burgers there. Ah, oh, Travis Scott. Travis Scott got that that burger. So they've saved that one. That's fine. Right. Right guys, I'm gonna have to be really quick because I've got no memory left of my phone, believe it or not. So we're gonna have to quickly go through the rest of it. I've just seen some nice apple pies here. They've got corn pies, spinach pie they used to sell, sweet potato pie, pineapple pie. It's pretty crazy. And then over here, we got some more egg muff muffin stuff. Also here is like the old gasoline tanks that they used to have from back in the day. Also, the cokes here. Shopping, shopping chats, cats. <laughs> Can't even speak. This is the old school Monopoly that they used to have. It used to be going on for years. Pie with some old cups there. Crazy. I had this as a kid. I remember this one. Making a map very making. Yeah, that's amazing. why I like to put some of the stuff back because some of the stuff has. They've dried the food out, guys. Like, the guys have told me now, the food that they have there, and it's on year five at the moment. They put like, what did you put on it again? You put, uh, like, lacquer, this... like a plastic lacquer, yeah. like a sealant. Yeah, and it's five years in, so they, they reckon, how long do you reckon it'll last? Well, I never. I don't know, I'm just as interested to see. I hear yeah. I hear a bunch of, if you want to call them horror stories of how long people, you know, forgotten like a burger in their glove compartment. Yeah. It's been like 10 years and still looks decent. <laughs> That's mad. What would be the biggest thing that someone watching doesn't know about the whole story of McDonald's that you would like to say? Like the well, one thing. of the things my, many people don't know is that the brothers were well connected with a lot of fast food giants. Like one of their one contemporary, like one friend of theirs who ended up starting their own business was a former Marine. Well, he just left the Marine. This was after the war. Yeah. Name uh, Glenn Bell, and he started originally a restaurant called Taco Tia in San Bernardino. But a dispute between him and a business partner didn't work out well. So he went off later to create what would eventually become Taco Bell. And, oh, he, used, shit. and he cited the brothers as inspirations. Not only him, but the same people, uh, the son and father duo that started Burger King. Yeah. Uh, I think it was the son who was visiting the round area was also inspired. Because I think originally they wanted to do a gas station, if I remember the story correctly. So they all knew the, the, the McDonald's brothers then. Or at least knew what they were doing yeah. and saw inspiration. That's what basically helped start off their own, the own change. chains. Yeah. So they just copied the same similar idea, basically, of McDonald's. So how long have you worked here for then? Five years now. Five years. Yeah. And have you taken inspiration about the whole story yourself like and applied it to your life? I'm not one for business, so yeah. probably not, but... But you're I, really passionate about about the whole, like, this is where you come from and, like, how... Uh, you're proud of, like, the area you're from and, like, what McDonald's stands as for. As much as I can. I mean, this is one of those saving graces because if you see San Bernardino, it's a former shell of what it once was. This yeah. place used to be a lot more prosperous. Unfortunately, now it's uh, considered one of the most... I wouldn't say the most dangerous cities but it's up there on the ranking yeah mostly because many of the industries major industry as well as the air base here was closed down over since the 90s mm. so that took a lot of business and opportunities here so there's a sense of pessimism in the community about that you know, that's like, a shame isn't it when there's it... not really many opportunities despite what the history we yeah. have here and i mean i guess it's good what you guys are doing here with this with this uh museum i guess like you know you're still keeping alive the story and that like i suppose it's uh, really good like we try and then like i said i have a way like i told you earlier i had a personal connection because my great grandfather worked for mcdonald's or unofficially did like he was more of a second hand that they they allowed to work where for them like once in a while because he worked in construction yeah but on the side he earned side money by doing kind of like landscaping and stuff yeah for mcdonald's yeah stuff. and the brothers had a house which you get, it's still there but it's privately owned over on beverly drive like yeah. it was the biggest house or biggest mansion you could say it's yeah. not that big by today's standards but in the 40s 50s it was so they did work for them and then the brothers paid them extra if they came down here and did a little more clean up around because there was always trash around here that needed to be cleaned up yeah. for people that's crazy <laughs> So there you have it guys, 
What an amazing experience. I was chatting with um, Ezra, the guy that works there, and it's just crazy. His grandfather used to work um, for McDonald's, cleaning up the trash and the rubbish. And he told me a lot of stuff about this is the exact location that uh, the first McDonald's was ever ever built. And what was ever, what was interesting, I don't think I caught it on camera, he said uh, people like the guy who created Taco Bell, he knew the brothers that created McDonald's and he was, uh, he was also born in this area. So the guy who created Taco Bell and then there was a girl that worked for Taco Bell that got fired and then she created Wendy's. So it was like all the people knew each other. It was like that saying, who you surround yourself with, you're going to end up like. And it was like they seen a niche in the market mcdonald's and then all these other guys had other ideas and they basically co copied their idea and then did put their own little spin in like taco bell and um, burger king and stuff like that but very very interesting i definitely suggest anyone that is traveling out here that to go and check this place out I, the guy said um, he was talking about collectibles basically all the stuff that was inside there he gets given to him or he, or he has to bid for it and a lot of the items that they got was passed down by ex-employees just before like they died the ex-employees would would come and, and bring their old equipment that they had which is just insane but yeah i'm gonna leave the video here guys if you've liked it please smash the like button subscribe for more videos coming soon peace out